In this video, I will show how you can use a revoked certificate to sign and sideload unlimited apps in your iPhone and iPad without computer or without getting blacklisted. If you notice, it says that the apps are not verified and tapping on the verify option also do not work. But as you can see, it's still able to launch the apps and the side loaded apps are still working on a revoked certificate. So let me show how to make this happen. Launch the Safari app and type exactly what I am typing on the search bar, which is Sierra.app. Once you are on the website, just tap on download Sierra button as shown. Here you will find three options. Just tap on get installer option. Now tap on allow to download a profile in your iOS device. Next, go to the settings app and navigate to that profile we downloaded earlier and tap on install. Enter your passcode and finally finish the installation process. Once done, just go back and again re-navigate to the VPN and device management section and tap on DNS. Make sure this option is checked as shown on the video. Now go back to the home page and launch the Sierra installer app. Tap on download one button as shown. This will take you to a web page with random ads. Just go back and again tap on download one button. This time, you will get this pop-up, just tap on install. The Sierra app will be side-loaded. As the app is side-loaded using an enterprise certificate, we must trust the certificate. To do so, launch settings app, navigate to VPN and device management section and tap on the certificate. And tap on trust, highlighted in blue. Now you will be able to launch the Sierra app. As you can see, we have launched the Sierra app successfully. Now just tap on this icon to sign and sideload IPA file. And now just select an IPA file of your choice and then tap on install to sideload the IPA file. So we have also successfully sideloaded an app and it's working absolutely fine. Now let me show you the proof that the certificate is actually revoked. Launch Sierra and navigate to the settings section. Tap on import certificate and you will notice that it's showing error. It means that the server is unable to determine if the app is actually revoked, all thanks to the DNS profile, which we set earlier. The moment I toggle the DNS to automatic, you will see in the import certificate section of the Sierra app that the certificate is actually revoked. Please do not switch the DNS to automatic. So let me now go back and switch the DNS to Apple Blocker, as shown on the video. This will ensure that the certificate do not ever get revokes or blacklisted. Now if we check the certificate status, it shows error now, indicating that the DNS is working now. Few important notes to take away from this video. Do not uninstall the Sierra installer app. DNS should not be set to automatic. You have to keep the internet always on, as when you disconnect and reconnect the internet. The DNS do not get connected instantly, so this time gap can cause the server to verify the certificate and blacklist it. And finally follow their Twitter page to get all updates about giveaways and certificates and many more. If you want to learn more features of Sierra, watch my next videos.